Howdy, y'all. It's Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee, and today we are back with day 13 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. Today's sketch was designed by Shannon Allure, and I absolutely love this. Um, and I may actually go back and do this sketch again. There's actually several of the sketches I think that I'll be going back and um, playing with again once 30 Days of Sketches is over. Because um, I really like the hearts and um, using those as embellishments. But today I'm going to use um, strawberries. I know y'all are probably tired of the strawberry pages by now. But I have so many pictures coming um, in my print order. It still isn't here yet. Um... It's definitely taking its time. Um, they keep changing the date on delivery. So this page is not going to have pictures on it today. But at the end of the month, I am going to um, do a month in review pretty much and go through all the pages that I've made for 30 Days of Sketches. Um, and I'll show you all the finished ones with all the pictures. Hopefully I will have pictures by then. <laughs> I better have pictures by then. Um... But these are just strawberries that I fussy cut from a paper. Um, and it was just all strawberries, which would have been really hard, I feel like, for me to use. But to actually cut them apart and um, use them like that um, works out a lot better. And this is a sheet of paper, I believe, from the same pack um, as that. I want to say it's a Michaels. Maybe it's a Michaels pack, um, I think. Um, I've had it in my stash for a while. These are some just some papers from my stash. Some of the um, paper flowers that I made um, in another video. I can link that below. And we are going to use up a ticket today that I also made. Um, and then these are just some... Um, these are just some stickers that I pulled out of... Um, I think it was a Simple Stories uh, Vintage Berry Fields book. And I just stuck them on this for now so that I can pull them off to put them on my page. Um, I thought that I would take and do a little bit of mixed media running up through here. And maybe a splash over there. Um, but I'm going to use Picked Raspberry and Festive Berries. And just to give it a little bit of of something um, I'm just doing the packaging technique y'all saw me do a lot um, I really like doing it it's something simple and easy and it um, gives it a lot of I feel like it gives it a lot of impact for little effort and it doesn't take anything special to be able to do it. Um, you could do this with other inks too. Water them down. Actually, let me put one more spot here that she shows over here with the hearts. Because I'm going to have a strip there. Okay. Clean this up because I'll have it on everything else. And dab this just a little bit. And I got a little bit there, but I'm not going to cry about it. It'll be okay. And then I wanted to add in a little bit of this pink just to pull in the pink flowers I'm going to be using. Um... And I'm just going to go back in with this. And I'm just using plain white cardstock um, from Hobby Lobby. The like 50 or 100 pack or whatever. It's just, it's just basic. Um, it's not anything special. So, and I like it. As long as you're not adding a ton of water, it, um, it does okay. It doesn't crinkle up the paper. I do like to go through and blot it. It does take a little bit of the color off, but 
um, it helps your paper not absorb that water. Okay. Hopefully we're in frame. All right. So she has um, designed some strips down here. Um, so I've already cut some out. And like I said, I just used some scraps that I pulled. Trying to use them up. Um, and I thought I would just glue them on. So let me get my glue. All of these are just old scraps from my um, my bin. I think this came from a, a Walmart paper pad that's double sided because it's the thinner it's the thinner paper, which I've kind of gotten away from using. I've kind of become a paper snob, but I do want to use up the stuff that I have left. Things have got so expensive, it's ridiculous. And then this is just a little tiny strip that I pulled out of my strips bin. Okay, so pretty much you're just building, building a strip cluster here. Um, and then... I have my, I have ink on my table, um, I'm going to add this in down here, I don't know exactly where I want to put it yet, I have these for my, um, cut out for the photo mats, and it looks like I probably used some that's maybe a tad bigger than, um, what she had put on there, but, it's okay because I always print in four by six and I don't like, I just don't like cutting my pictures down most of the time. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I like the way it looks, but most of the time I usually don't um, cut my pictures down. I've gotten where I've noticed I tend to take pictures closer up versus far away so when I print four by six because I usually print in bulk every month so I usually have a couple hundred pictures to print and um, it's harder to trim them down okay I think I'm just going to put it there I don't know how well I like it but And I'm sorry if this goes in and out of focus some. Um, I've tried to be mindful because I have to, this new filming stand I have, I have to um, have it right by my arm. So whenever I'm moving around, my arm types it sometimes. And I notice that when I've watched it back, it goes in and out of focus a little. So I am very sorry about that. But I don't have any other suggestions right now for phone stands oh, I'll just glue it's always faster She has um, some little strips over here, so I cut these just to go there. Um, just something basic. More scraps. We 
are getting some rain today. Um, and I'm so glad because we needed it. It's so dry. My flowers are struggling this year. I'm struggling to keep them watered. <laughs> so I'm very thankful we're getting rain this morning. Hopefully my Canadian friends are getting their fires under control. Hopefully they're getting rain. And I'm just going to use these strawberries um, like she did with the hearts. I'm just going to kind of put them in um, going up. Some of them I have on foam tape and some of them I don't. I already know what pictures are going to go on here, but like I said, I haven't got them yet. But I will show you guys at the end of the month. Um, once I finally get my picture order in, I'll go back through. I'll add the pictures and any journaling I've left out and all that. And then, um, be able to show y'all. Okay. Hmm. I feel like it needs a few more or something. I might put some over here. Once I get my picture order in, I should be getting close to the end of my strawberry pictures of um, scrapbooking them for the year. Okay. And then I'm going to add some flowers. Hmm. I don't want to cover up all my little mousies. Kind of like that. Then I have some greenery I can add in and my little title piece. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. Let me get my tacky glue to glue on the flowers. I am going to do a flower series um, in July on making different paper flowers. Hopefully y'all will join me for that. Give me suggestions for any flowers you would like to try to see me make. It don't mean that I can because I'm not an expert, but I do love making flowers. And trying out different ones. I'm holding this down for a minute just to get it to set. This tacky glue is pretty good at holding it once you once you get them down and uh, give them a minute for the glue to start getting tacky. It's it's usually down like you can't get it up. So. Okay, well, I kind of hid that one. Um, let me put another one that's on foam tape there. Let's see. I think it looks pretty good. Um, should I add another one there? I think I will, and then I'll trim it off. Oh, 
Oh, my glue's getting a booger in it and don't want to come out. So I try to close it up as soon as I'm used, done using it because it gets gunky. Then I have to mess with it. Okay, I'll trim off the little excess pieces. And then I have, like I said, this. I already know what pictures um, I'm going to put on here. I just have to wait for them to get here. Um, I'll change it up a little bit from the way I had it on here. That way it says harvest homegrown fresh berries. Um, because my plan is to put pictures on here of my strawberries that I grew. And they are the best tasting strawberries. They are so sweet. And I dabbled in strawberries last year. It was my first year. but And I got a few strawberries and they were good. But this year, they are just exploding, and they are doing so well, and they are so good. Like, they are so sweet. They're the best strawberries I ever had. And normally, I like a big title, but this is okay. And I'm sorry if my head is in the, in the way. Trying to see how to line it up good. Okay, so I think that's going to be the layout. Um, check out the playlist below of everyone else playing along. And until tomorrow. Oh, I'll put some close-ups at the end. But until tomorrow, bye y'all.